Yeah, me too. Hey everybody, John Bobro here, creator of Blinks. Jamie, creator of Blinks. <laughs> and Ernie in the background. And Ernie joining us in the back. Um, so first of all, thanks to everybody for... Uh, actually, so I have to start with... So <laughs> I should start by saying thanks for joining our Blinks live stream. Yeah. If you don't know what Blinks are and you're here, awesome. But uh, we already see a bunch of you... Uh, popping in. So, hey, Lee, welcome back. Um, uh, definitely say hello in the comments. Um, I wanted to start this one off by saying this is our first live stream after we've successfully uh, we met reached. our goal we for the Kickstarter. Goal. So, yeah. Uh, so, a huge thanks to everybody out there watching and a huge thanks to all of our Kickstarter backers. I think uh, there are over 800, maybe at this point it is more, um, and, uh, to, as Lee put in the comments, we have raised now over $122,000 for the campaign, so we're <laughs> going really strong. We've got nearly, uh, I don't know, maybe 18 days, 17 days, so more than two weeks left in the campaign, so lots of people to get blinks out to. Um, we're going to be announcing stretch goals this week. We've been putting that all together. And um, uh, Jamie doesn't know what the stretch goals are yet. No, nope, I don't. So um, we're, yeah, really excited to be sharing that and really enjoying all the suggestions in the comments. Um, so, hey, Josh. Hey, Brian. Hi, Wesley. Awesome. Cool. So, hey, Jonas. Um, so the game we're going to be playing today is another one of our games. Hi, Claire. <laughs> Whoa, we're over 900 backers. 936 nice. of you. Amazing. OK, that's an internal goal for me is always to, to like, the last time I wanted to reach 1,000 people. And I think we're going we're gonna to break that. So Cool. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, let's see. So the game we're going to be playing today is another one of the games from our community sets. If you haven't watched any of the tutorials for Blinks, check them out on our YouTube channel here. Um, if you haven't watched any of our other live streams, the whole backlog is here on our YouTube channel as well. And uh, so the game we're going to be playing is from the community set. Mm -hmm. And uh, the game is called Reactor. Mm -hmm. What's that? Ernie's, <laughs> Ernie's, <laughs> Ernie's checking out our library. Yeah. Um, Let's see, so I'm going to switch to scene mode. All right, so uh, I've been playing the community set games with 18 blinks out. And um, uh, if you're, this is your first time seeing blinks, each blink is an intelligent game piece. And they respond to touch. And they communicate with their neighbors. Um, and so if I introduce this here, communicates with its neighbors. And each one of them know a different game. And so the game we're going to be playing today is called Reactor. And it's a prototype one. So you can see it's all kind of scuffed up and um, is just a paper label. Hey, Jonathan. Um, and so Reactor, let's see, do we have the printout instructions too? I think I've got them here. Cool. So to load Reactor, I'm going to group all my blinks together hold down the reactor blink for three seconds until it goes crazy blue, and then introduce it to the group. And let's see, that'll be fine. And so it's going to go around and find each of the other blinks it's connected to and teach them all how to play reactor. Um, and so while they're loading, I'll, I'll look up some, look up our instructions. instructions. <laughs> Uh, and the instructions that ship with the games are uh, printed and in color. Um, these ones are just uh, uh, a draft um, so that we can read from the actual instructions. Okay, so Reactor is for two to six players, and uh, it requires uh, seven or more blinks to play. Okay, so we're going to play a two player variety. I've I find this game a lot of fun with more than two people, but I think mm -hmm. two people is... All we have at the moment. <laughs> all, all we got at home. And uh, it's also, it's it's a very competitive game. So mm -hmm. Jamie and I will be good. I like this game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. So 
We're instructed arrange your blinks so that each player has a single file path to the center blink. If possible, each player's path should be the same length. When you are finished setting up, long press the center blink to start the reactor. Would this be the center blink? So it says uh, create a single uh, single file path so we can separate them all out. Oh yeah, okay. And okay, and but I don't think we need all of these. Yeah, I was like, right now, I think this is good. So for two player, I'll just leave them here. But uh, for two players, eleven. So that means yep. uh, what did it say? Single. Uh, long press the center. So here's the center one of the whole board. We're gonna long press it. And then release. And then release. Oh. oh, maybe actually, I think these rules are a little bit late. Try a triple click. Oh. Uh, cool. Our old rules, yeah. So, um, <laughs> so we're gonna play like this. And so this is my path. This is John's path. They should just be the same length, so they're equal, and you'll see why soon. So the gameplay for a reactor, it's a fat, it's a reaction time game. And uh, hey Mike. <laughs> um, it's a it's a reaction time game. And so let's see. Uh, and I should start with the theme of it. This is kind of like it's like a nuclear reactor. There's been a meltdown, and uh, we all have to do our part. So mm -hmm. the center reactor will continuously flash colors. If it flashes the same color twice in a row, Players must buzz in. So they buzz in by pressing a blink at the end of their path. Um, Similarly, if it blinks the same number, but a different color, then you also blink in. So you can see it blinking in the center now. It's like three green, one green. So because it was green twice in a row, we could click in. Or, or, if, it's, or if it's two of the same number twice in a row, we could click. So that was two green, two yellow, that was the same, so we could click in. Whoever clicks fastest wins that well, round. Whoever buzzes in fastest. Who buzzes in fastest, so, yeah. yeah. Um, so let's see. So because there's two of us, the moment if I buzz in, let's try this out. So first, oh. So Jamie buzzed in, hers is correct, mine goes incorrect, and that means I have to pull one off of my length. Yeah, so once you, if you lose a round, you have to pull off your last one. And um, you keep pulling them off until... Well, you pull one off each time oh, you get it wrong. Each time you lose, yeah. And so when a blink is pulled off of the chain, it is an unstable piece. And an unstable piece looks like this. Mm -hmm. And over some random period of time, the stable piece will either go green, at which point... Either of us can grab it and add it to our side. The goal of the game is to get all of the pieces on your side. Right. Um, if uh, an unstable gets pulled off, and fingers crossed it'll turn red here. Let's see. <laughs> Some Yeah, so it'll either turn green or turn red. If it turns green, either of us can grab it and add it. Um, if it turns red, then it's unstable discarded. and you just discard it. Um, so essentially you just want to keep your side as long as possible and basically you're watching the centerpiece here and you're watching the extra pieces here that we've discarded. You lose once you lose all of your, your chain. Exactly. So you're out, uh, well, the winner is the person who has all of them because if you're playing a multiplayer game, all you could be out of the, the game. Ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're doing... All right, so let's go ahead and long uh, triple-click the middle piece. Okay, so uh, should we, we'll start playing, and if people have questions, they can throw them in. Yeah, I feel like it's better to watch this game than to explain. Oh, that was fast. Okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, there's kind of this nice balance of... Oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> if you go for grabbing the one that's unstable, um, it's... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I you got to pull it off. Too late. Got it. And you lose uh. another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oof, a little late. Oh, Jamie's better at this oh, game shoot. than no, me. I just totally. <laughs> uh, ah. Discard. Discard. Two, two. Shoot. Okay, and so here's the cool thing I love about this game, which is because I'm closer. Yes, got it. Uh, because I'm closer, it means my reaction time can be a little bit slower, and I'm still buzzing in quicker than Jamie. Ugh, not quick enough, apparently. Um, and oh, really? Okay. So Jamie's a winner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> GG, GG. So as as your um, I, I did not do a good job of catching up. But as you're losing uh, pieces, you're getting closer to the reactor. And so uh, the game has this natural effect of helping out the player who um, is doing worse, which I really like. Mm -hmm. It helps even out. Um, and then in addition, if you do have more than one player, um, you can maybe lose all of your blinks. But then because of those ones are, are, that are on the side, this um, those unstable spare pieces, pieces, those unstable pieces, you can come back into the game if you grab one of those pieces. So let me show, actually, because I think it's worth seeing a three-player version of this game, just to understand th this game's got a lot of smarts in it, which I think is really cool. Um, the programmers of this game and creators, designers of this game, Aaron Santiago and Spencer Key, um, they made this game the first prototype of it at uh, the Global Game Jam this year. Um, so, let's see. So, if I buzz in, uh, incorrect, I need to buzz in correctly. Uh, nice. So there, and then say this is the second person to beep in. So, if you're the second person to buzz in, it'll go yellow. So, it looks like it was just a little bit too late. Okay. got it. So, yep. Yeah. And so, only the last person would remove a piece. Right. Um, if you're, uh... One other version of the game takes the unstable piece and you simply, um, the loser gives it to the winner. I like putting it out there because there's something really fun about the mm -hmm. game. Having to watch both, both things at the same time. And um, I wonder, it'd be fun to actually turn one of these into a, a like a non-playable character. So that we're playing versus a third player that's oh, like funny. a computer. It's like a computer version, yeah. Huh. Okay. Future future yeah. versions. Maybe someone out there can think about how to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, yeah. Should we throw one more on? Sure. Just okay. A little, a little bit of a longer game. Mm -hmm. All right. So. And the color palette on this game isn't fully set yet, but I was playing around with this last night, and I think... Uh, I think it feels pretty good. Oh. I'm really slow at seeing these. Boom. Not that slow. <laughs> ah. Oh, shoot. Ah. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, um, this game is also, it's based on a, a card game. Shoot. I'm really slow at this. You're really far away and still getting them. Oh. It's real tough to get buzzed in from there. Yeah. Even though Jamie beat me on that one, I was able to... Because he was just closer in position. Oh, really? Oh, I was watching now. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, I thought... Too late. Yeah. You gotta take one off. Oh, shoot, you're right. No, uh, late. Oops. Oh, wait. Okay. Shoot. Last one. No, really? How did you... <laughs> Good game. Let's see. Brian says, let's see. Or you can just make friends. <laughs> oh, instead of making the computer. Instead the of first. having a computer. I think that's the better way to yeah. go about it. Our, our social distancing here is uh, is the culprit. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Jonas, 
You've got so many blinks out. How could you play two games? Oh, could you play two games at the same time? Yes. Do you want to play? You play two games at the same time. You could also have it where. Yeah, if two. No, I like the two games. At two the games same at the same time. I like that better. Yeah. I All right. Like it yeah, it's gonna be. It's like having multiple uh, pinballs. Oh right. It's like watching two things at the same time will be interesting. What do you think? Oh, really? Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! Ah! <laughs> uh, no. Oh, uh, this is nuts. Okay, that this one's out for me. Oh, shoot. I wasn't. <laughs> I should have lengthened this one. Oh. Oh, but you can. Oh, wait. Oh, that's, can we grab? Yeah, yeah I think yeah, you yeah, should. Is, right? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened. Oh. Oh. No, that one. I didn't even think it changed yet. It totally changed. No, oh, we'll check the tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're almost off screen. <sighs> Yeah. Good game. That's why Good I game. Like, this is why I like this game. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Uh, what card What card game is this based on? Do you know what card game this is based on? It goes by different names in different places. I just feel like it's the one where you're like putting, and then once you get the same number, you're like, ah! Oh! And then you so, like grab like war or like something like that. It's kind of like that. The game is called uh, Egyptian Rat Screw or ERS. Um, I, I think it goes by other names in other places, but, um, the game is where you're flipping cards over, and if you get two of the same suit or two of the same number, number mm -hmm. uh, you slap in, and whoever slaps in first adds it to their pile. Got it. And, yeah. uh, you keep going around doing that, and I think there's one aspect of that game that they tried out but didn't leave in, which is if you sandwich in that game, so let's say you had like a jack to jack, mm -hmm. you could also slap in. Oh, interesting. Um, they tried that out with this game where it was like if it goes three, two, three, mm -hmm. but there's... That'd be, I don't know, I think mentally that wouldn't... I didn't it would be too hard. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it was too much. Yeah, and... it's too much to think about. And especially if you have the side ones. I think that that would be worth it if you're only doing like the very the simplest version of, the, of this, which is like um, you're only looking at the centerpiece and have one game going. You're not looking at the side pieces at the same time. So I feel like the side pieces add that extra L. Yeah. And I think the sandwiching aspect adds balance for cards because there's such a variety of numbers. Mm, yeah. But in this game, there's only one, two, or three, and right. the three colors. Yeah. You'd so be buzzing I, in all the yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's almost like you'd be buzzing in more than you wouldn't be buzzing in, and then that would just be crazy. So. I also like the way this game just kind of starts with, like, arrange the board, however, and, like, you can throw in up to six players... So those of you with the 18 pack, um, so this is 18 blinks right here. Let's see. You could play, oh, so you could play starting out with uh, five, five players of equal distance. The sixth player is one off. Um, just, just have to find one more person. Just have to find, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, or if you have a developer kit, uh, the, they come with a blank, so, uh, but blanks, blanks make it even too. Um, but I like that you can play this game with up to six, six players. There's also, um, a way that you can play cooperatively. Mm, that's cool. So, I think this is really neat. Um, yeah, we'll do it like this. So, all right. Is there some? Um, I think we need to take one. get rid of one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if we set up the game board like this, we could play two on two, and mm -hmm. so if I buzz in over here correctly, it 
wins for oh, our team. Both. Will we both take one out or just one person take one off? I think you just take one off. Yeah. Um, oh, this is good for if your left hand's faster than your right hand. <laughs> like one way or the other. Um, yeah, this is just like, I think this game has like, all these really nice, subtle additions. Um, and it's so active. Watching people play it at the game jam, it was just so clear that it had to be part of our set. Um, and, oh, really? Well, I mean, you're, you're taught. You that's know. true. You're, that's you're true. like, preoccupied ex describing things. Oh, I went for the sandwich there. Mm -hmm. You know, I found a little... Well, I guess this is weird if it's like left or right hand, because what I did is I just made this as short as possible, so this will be my clicking hand, and this one it doesn't matter. Right. But I guess if you have more than one person, then you'll make it more even. That's a good point. Ooh. Let's see. I'm going to check the for other questions. So, um, so that was the card game that it was based on. Let's see. Uh, we played with two games at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, I dig the double meaning in the name, reactor theme, and the reaction-based game. Clever. Mm. Thanks for picking up on that, Brian. Yeah. Credit to Aaron and Spencer on that one. The game was initially called Pay Up, and I was really stubborn about this. I, I really liked that name. Um, and because at the table, every time somebody lost, you'd say, Pay Up. And, like you'd, you'd pay up that and you'd break a blink off. And I was just like, oh, that's a really cool, it's really fun to have something to say when the person mm, uh, owes yeah. you something. And so uh, pay up was the initial uh, name of the game. And then reactor uh, was the second game. Yeah, I think there were a bunch thrown out, but reactor came up and Aaron and Spencer, the game designers, were like, it's got to be Reactor. We really want to do Reactor. So. Yeah. And I, yeah, I like that name, too. Um, and it looks like a Reactor, like the, ah. um, the center one. Jonas calls me the comeback kid. Getting demolished. Oh, I too. I, I really got my blinks handed to me here. <laughs> <laughs> I also like, cause, I mean, the uh, three, you know, if you ever watch The Simpsons. Isn't it in The Simpsons where they have, like, the Reactors, like, the three... And so it looks like a reactor as well, like just visually. Like the, the three lights are lit up. Well, that's Same. the like hazard, yeah, the, the hazard, hazard symbol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The theming on this, that's I think, good. really, that's really perfect. works out. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get the colors to be this sort of like, uh, I don't know. We, I actually pulled the artwork from The Simpsons. I was like, I want it to feel like one of those unstable. Mm, yeah. Uh, what do you call those rods? Like mm, yeah. nuclear rod. Um, let's see. Would it work with a side only one deep? Ah, good question. So if we put six around, I think like this, and then I triple click the middle piece. So it does be yeah. <laughs> and you can see the last to... person. Oh. I'm actually not sure what the oh, there we go. white was. Oh, I wonder if that's... Oh, you know what the white is? Hmm. It's to stop you from spamming. You can't just keep clicking to buzz in, I oh, think. Oh, okay. Interesting. I think that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, so we can't play one deep? We can. Uh, we totally can. Let's we'll okay. see. Let's play one deep with uh, two player. Two player, yeah. Ah, oh, Jamie wins the game. <laughs> <laughs> What's the smallest game we can play that's... Uh, let's see. We'll try We'll try with just five. This is actually... A, uh, this is a good test because I think a lot of people have also been asking, like, how many blinks do you need to play each of the games? This game... Uh, this game you can actually play. Uh, you can play this game with five blinks. It's a pretty short game. With mm -hmm. 12, totally fine. Yeah. Uh, you definitely don't need 18 blinks to play Reactor. Mm -hmm. um, but as you can see with 18, we were able to... Do a little bit more configuration, spend a little bit longer on the game. There's a more chance for comebacks. Let's see. Hey, Karsten! 
Yeah, we're right. Keep the momentum going on our Kickstarter, 123% and exactly. still going. Um, awesome. Let's see. Would it work with a side only one deep? I think it might if the setup signal is coming out the centerpiece instead of from the player. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's also fun to see. I think a lot of people also in the comments are uh, commenting about how the games are made and how they work. Um, all of the games, um, it's worth noting here, all of the games are so far are open source. Um, so you can actually look at how the games are coded. Um, you can make changes to the games and play them your own way. So if you don't like the color palette of this game and you have a developer tool, um, you can change the colors. Um, you could also add features. Um, let's see. Wesley says, looks fun, the rules are straightforward, <laughs> okay. and the color scheme seems pretty cool. Um, oh, you didn't say pretty cool, you say seems cool. <laughs> Love the shorter path gets a bit of a handicap, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, it really helps. And it just, I think it just makes... It didn't help me, though. <laughs> Jamie's, um, Jamie's the reaction time queen. Yeah, although I didn't do good when we played, when we've played other people before, so... I don't know, mm. maybe it's just you. I'm, I'm, I'm no, pretty I think, I think it's this. also because you're, like, describing things, and I'm only focused on the game right now. You've been, like, you know, talking to the camera and stuff and entertaining. I say we do one more, one and what we call it? Yeah, we'll do one more game on this, and I combat, won't. Kid. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk to the camera here. I'm gonna focus. Very serious. I'm gonna focus on winning, because I'm a winner. <laughs> um, we'll leave this over here as just some eye candy, um, and let's see. Okay, if there are any other questions that come in, we'll wrap with those. Um, all right. Countdown? Should we triple click to start it off? I kind of sure. like how it starts that yeah. way. Okay. All right. Oh, that was, of course, the first one. Out of the gate. Oh, shoot. Yes. Here we go. I'm in it to win it. What? Sandwich. Discard. The pressure. I really. <laughs> I'm like. I'm not seeing the. There it is. Oh, oh come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. That was. Ah. No. No, I just clicked on the wrong one. There it is. Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. There oh, we go. Oh, good one. Ah. Uh. I think you were still faster than ah. me. <laughs> oh, really? Both? Yeah, yep. Oh, shoot. You knew that was coming. Yeah. I think I also got a buzzer. Oh, on that. shoot. Oh, sorry, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Serious gaming. Oh, ooh. Okay, this is do or die here. Oh, shoot. Oh. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm out. Uh, I'm out. All right. Okay. Good game. Good game. Yeah. Awesome. So that's Reactor. I hope you got a good sense of how the gameplay works. That's a fun one. Um, this was such a hit. Um, it received one of the awards at uh, Global Game Jam. And we're so happy to have it as part of our uh, community set. When you're done playing, just do a sleeper hold on your blinks. It sends them all to sleep. And then you can roll them up into your sushi roll case and take them with you or put them away. Um, and just show what that looks like. And uh, yeah. And there you go. So thanks so much for joining our live stream today. If you haven't backed the Kickstarter, definitely check it out. The momentum is amazing right now. I can't believe we reached our goal so quickly. Um, we're going to be announcing uh, the stretch goals this week, some really great uh, suggestions in the, in the comments. Um, and please share, spread the word, um, let people know it's the best deals on Blinks. And um, we're, we're already actually, last night it was... Uh, on the phone with our manufacturer. Tonight we'll be 
talking again, we're, we're trying to get things going even quicker. So um, uh, getblinks.com, visit us at Kickstarter, and uh, tell if, your friends. Tell your friends. <laughs> Uh, and if you haven't subscribed down below, subscribe and touch the, uh, make sure you ring the bell for notifications. See you on Thursday. See you on Thursday. Have you announced all the other games or just the first six? Have you announced all of the games coming out on the Kickstarter or just the first six? Ah, oh, I should answer that question real quick. Okay, answer the question yeah. first. So uh, the six community set games uh, are in addition to 14 games that uh, are all launched on the first 12 blinks. So of the 20 games that are available on this Kickstarter, uh, the six are the community, and then the core and the expansion. Awesome. So you can check those out, and we'll see everybody on Thursday. I'm trying to think if that makes sense. So.